Hi everyone, my name is Martin and VP of Growth for a Star Ecosystem. Today I want to share an update about our roadmap to launch Shader Network on Kusama. Okay, here you can see the Shader Network roadmap. Today we finished phase 2.3. This is very huge because today we distributed all the tokens to those who participated in the crowd run. So everything in phase one is finished. We also finished um, phase 2.1, phase 2.2, today 2.3. The next step is phase 2.4. This is where we enable staking and onboard oculators. Uh, phase 2.5, this is where the Ink Smart Contract module will be deployed in Shader Network and developers can deploy um, WebAssembly based smart contracts in our ecosystem. Phase 2.6, this is where we enable balance transfers. This is also important for those who joined the crowd loan um, through exchanges like OKX and Kraken. So those who joined through exchanges have to wait until we finish with phase 2.6, where we enable the transactions. Um, because the exchanges now, they can't send the tokens you deserve to your wallet because the transactions are still locked. Phase 2.7, we will enable the EVM smart contracts. And finally, 2.8, we will um, implement DAP staking. And this is where I'm very excited about and can't wait to see this live on Shader Network. So when you look back at the auction strategy, you will see that 22% of our tokens are reserved for the crowd loan participants. There was an 11 months of lease period that we um, got and during those 11 months, one month of lock and 10 months of vesting. We became a power chain on July the 6th, uh, so everything will be locked um, on, until August the 6th and then the first month of vesting starts. We will explain more about the vesting in an article that we will share very soon. Please keep in mind that 20% of the total supply will be distributed um, for the crowd loan participant and the 2% out of the 22 is used for a bonus. So at this stage of 2.3 where we uh, distributed all the tokens, it's only 20% and not 22. The 2% will be distributed during uh, next month. So for now, we distributed around 14 million tokens um, and not the 50 million 400 here. So now only 14 million and all the rest are bonuses and will be distributed later this month or next month. More, info, more information about this will be all, will also be available in the article that we will share about the vesting. Now, for those who don't know how to see their um, SDN tokens in their wallet, I will explain how to do this. You just have to go to polka.gs.org. When you are here, you can click on the apps wallet. When you are in the apps wallet, you need to wait until it's loaded. I'm now connected to Polkadot. So this is not Shaden. So I first need to go and connect to the Shaden chain. So what do I need to do? I have to click here on the top left. I need to go to Kusama. Shaden network is um, below. You click on Shaden. You can here choose um, a node that you want to connect to and then you just click on switch when you do this you will be connected to the shaden parachain and now it's possible to inject your account how to do this so i use the polka.gs extension so you just click on the plus button here and then you can import your account from a seed or you can restore your account from a json file so when you restore your account you will see it here then it's very important that you click on the three um, gray buttons here on the right and then you choose for allow use on any chain um, so you don't need to 
use any of those just use allow use on any chain and that's okay and then when you go back to the apps wallet you go to the account and then accounts and then you will see that your wallet is injected and you will find your SDN tokens here your balance those who participated in the crowd loan they will see that their um, that their tokens are locked and they will be unlocked every month um, starting the day when the vesting starts for me you don't see, see here that my um, tokens are not locked but I still can transfer the tokens this is only possible at phase 2.6 like I mentioned earlier I think I covered everything that I wanted to say oh I got some basic questions from the community as well that I would like to answer like one question was I'm a locked wall participant how can I see my tokens this is actually the same as I did previously just go to the polka.gs extension import here your plasm account because you have to be connected to you have those log draw participants they have their wallet on the on plasm network just make sure that you restore your wallet here in the pocket yes extension and choose here allow use on any chain and not just this if you use this it will not be possible to see your sdn tokens on shaden you have to use this one and when you do that you will see your balance another question was um, my tokens are locked yeah that's normal because we you are now in a vesting period another question i found in the chat that was um, quite often asked for is what about the nft during the first phase of the crowd loan um, let's have a look at our roadmap so for the nft it's important that the smart contract of our partner Mushi market can be deployed in our ecosystem and for that we need to finish phase 2.5 and 2.7 so when those two are finished our partners can start building their dap in our ecosystem and from that point it's possible to mint your nft it's not possible now because if they and create something um, now on their network it will not be in our ecosystem so it's very important that this will be enabled and then you can mint your nft through our partner and more information will be shared um, in the upcoming announcements so please follow our channels to get all the latest news mm. And I think I covered all of most of the questions. So if you have any other questions, feel free to come to Telegram. Use the search button to search for maybe questions that I asked before. So you don't have to, so our ambassadors don't need to answer all the, all the same questions like 10 times a day, the same questions. Use the search button and you will find your answer. If not, you of course can ask them. I also want to warn you if you got a um, PM or a DM, if someone is sending you a private message and he is saying that he is an ambassador or an admin, please do not fall for this as this is most likely a scam. Our ambassadors or our admins will never um, send you a private message first. So please be aware that you don't fall for this. Don't share any of your keys to um, anyone who's asking because we will never ask you to do this. So I hope I answer all your questions. If not, feel free to jump in Telegram and see you soon. Bye bye.